The town of Goldfield was born when gold was discovered in 1902, and within just a few short years, it became the largest city in Nevada, as millions of dollars in ore was extracted from area from area mines. I thought that was weird how I wrote that. Sorry. <laughs> In addition to its number, um, in addition to its numerous saloons, the city once boasted three newspapers, five banks, a mining stock exchange, and a population of 35,000. Five banks. Five banks. That's a lot of fucking money coming through. I don't even. I do not even have five banks in a town that I live in right now. <laughs> that is a lot of money. I don't have five banks, probably. Yeah. In my town, no. That's impressive. That's a, that's a whole lot of money going through that. Checking it out. Yeah, that's good. That takes the uh, eye off of us for a little bit. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> They're all up on the building. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> However, like other cities, those only oh, or sorry, whose only reason for let me say that again. However, like other cities, whose only reason for being being was its mining industry. When the ore played out, so did the town. Mm. And in just eight years after Goldfield was founded, the volume of ore began to decrease. And and many of its residents began to move yeah. to more pers perspective claims. So eight years, this this town was huge, booming, and then in eight years, it's already seeing a decline. Yeah. yeah. Whoa. Wow. Oh yeah. yeah. That's insane. Oh my God. It's <laughs> oh, it's a hen. Oh 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 yeah. It's a hen. It's a hen. There's a family that pulled up. Yeah, they're checking out the and awesome the building kids, behind us. Like, have no clue what's going on. They're like, why? Why do we have to stop their mom? I don't know, but kids, you know, sometimes are sensitive, so we might not pay attention. Maybe kids that she was freaking out to get something. Yeah. Get off that porch. There's all those demon ghosts there. <laughs> So by 1920, the gold was almost gone and the town was reduced to just about 1,500 people. Wow. Three years later, a devastating fire wiped out 27 blocks of homes Jeez. and businesses, lessening the town's population even more. That's a serious fire. 27 yeah. blocks. Yeah. Well, you know, look at this wood building that we're in front of. I mean, like, yeah, there's no sprinkler Don't systems. smoke near this shit. It's gone. Thing. I mean, and this is back in what? what 1920? 1920. Yeah, yeah, so they were probably using water buckets. I mean, they had fire engines, oh, yeah. but like, well, out in the middle of nowhere? Right, exactly. Yeah.